So in this video, we're going to cover some browser extensions I use all the time as a security researcher, and I think everyone should. These are essential tools that you can download for free to make your time on the internet just so much better. And the first one, as you can see, is Bitwarden. It's a password manager that you can get for free. And once you have it installed, it's going to show up in your extensions. And all you have to do is create an account with your email address. Now, another tip I'm going to give you is how to set a password for your password manager. Obviously, most of you probably know how a password manager works at this point. You remember one password to log into this and then everything else is stored here so you can log into all your other websites with complex passwords without remembering them. Now what's important here is to make sure that the password you use here is something that you can remember but it's also very secure. And the best way to do that is not to type in a bunch of random characters like this because you're not going to remember it and it's going to be fairly easy for the computer to guess if it's not too long or too complex. Instead, think of something that mean something to you, maybe your favorite line from a novel, some historical event with the year, something about your birthday or your anniversary, and type in that phrase, maybe make the first letter of each word capital, like this is a good password 1978. So it's going to be very easy for you to remember, but it's going to be very hard for a machine to crack it. Next, you will want to get an ad blocker. And trust me, it pains me to say this as a YouTuber because we're supporting by ads on YouTube, but the internet is such that you do need uBlock Origin. And there are a couple of tweaks I suggest with this. So you want to go into settings. This is, by the way, the fastest ad blocker you're going to get pretty much in terms of efficiency. You want to go into the cookie notices section and make sure you turn on these lists and apply changes. This is going to make sure you don't get those annoying pop-ups when you go into a new website that says, hey, agree to submit all your data. It's going to block those pop-ups, which is by far probably the most annoying thing about using the internet today. I use YouTube Premium. Consider whitelisting it, but it's your call at the end of the day. Now, the next extension is another ad blocker, which is Ghostery. This is also going to block ads and trackers for you. But the reason I have it included, even though we already have uBlock Origin, which is a little bit faster, in my opinion. But the reason for including Ghostery is that it works on your phone. So if you have an Android or iPhone, you can install Ghostery on it and get similar ad blocking capabilities on your phone. Most people don't have an ad blocker on their phone. They only have it on their PC. So when they open a website on their phone, they still have to deal with all the pop ups and all their data gets tracked anyway. So this is a way to kind of prevent that. It doesn't work as well as on the PC, but it's still way better than nothing. Plus, it can also block some of the cookie notices. Now, if these two extensions don't block, some cookie notices, this one will. So I don't care about cookies as a great extension that is a nice add on, even if you do have uBlock Origin. It works a little bit better than the uBlock Origin filters that I just showed you to get rid of those cookie pop ups when you go to a new website. And even in the ones where there are multiple sections that you have to go through and select, it tries to do that automatically for you. You don't have to if you already use the uBlock Origin filters, like I said. But for those of you who really want to get rid of those extra cookie notices because it drives you crazy. I just wanted you to know it exists. And again, you can install it on Chrome, Edge, or Firefox. Now, the last extension I'm going to talk about is Malwarebytes Browser Guard. It can block ads and trackers, but it also works well with malware and scams. And of course, a lot of... Oh, good timing from Windows Defender there. Of course, a lot of vendors, a lot of different antivirus products have their own extensions that can block malware or warn you. But Malwarebytes is just particularly good at detecting scams, targeting home users. So if you are going to get one of these, this is a good one to to consider. But of course, if you use Kaspersky or Bitdefender, they're going to have their own extension. That's totally fine. I'm just suggesting this for those that just use Windows Defender. So there you have it. Those are my top picks. I wanted to keep this list fairly short. Let's be honest. Nobody wants to have 50 extensions slowing down their browser. And at the same time, I want it to be things that everyone needs, not just some niche security tool that I use. Let me know if this is a good list and uh, do like and share it if it is. For me, these are essential. So I wanted to put this out there so everybody else knows. I've been trying to condense it for a long time and get it to what would I recommend to every normal user? And this is it. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you'd suggest something else. And a big thank you to CrowdSec for sponsoring this video. Now this is an open source intrusion prevention platform that you can use to block incoming attacks and hackers from trying to infiltrate your network, especially useful if you run any kind of home servers or if you're a 
sysadmin and you're managing a lot of systems and servers and you want to protect them, you can start with something like this. They've got their own threat intelligence. It's easy to deploy on Windows or Linux and you can even look up an IP here. So if you notice any kind of traffic in your firewall, you can type it in here and see if it's malicious potentially. It's also an open source tool that is on GitHub. So if you're a student looking to learn more about intrusion prevention and you want to play with the code or you want to kind of use it for your own projects or extend it, this is a great community project to check out. So do check out CrowdSec. Go to crowdsec.net or use the link in description. There is a bit of a learning curve to it, but they do have a lot of documentation. So I I think viewers of the channel will find it fun to explore. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.